Well, mister, that's a mighty fine outfit you're Ooh, wearing there. Oh, God. You stand out like a sore thumb, and that's no lie. Watch that you don't get it all dirtied up, but you'd be welcome to come back to my place. It's not far, and I'd sponge it down for you. <laughs> don't go back to Jenny's place. <laughs> You'll get malaria. <laughs> Thank you, madam. I'm certain that you would make a very good job of it. Uh, that will not be necessary, however. Uh, but your thought was a kind one. We'd best be leaving now, sir. Here, please accept this sovereign as a token of my gratitude for your concern. Well, I never. Thank you. That's right generous of you, my uh, lordship. You are very welcome, madam. Madam, he calls me. Bless my garters. What a gent. If you're ready now, sir. Yes, let us go. What a remarkable man, the Prince Woodville, to talk to such a woman as though she was an equal. Let's find Batty Street. I liked Holmes' little, his little smirk when she was talking. What a remarkable man, to talk to her as if she wasn't completely grotesque and repulsive. All right. Is it? Can't zoom in. I think I remember noticing Batty Street. I think it might be done this way. Yep, Batty Street. Here we are. Number seven. Number six. Are we going to eight Batty Street? Number eight Batty Street. Oh, the doy. Closed. My God, Holmes, it's appalling. And the smell. But what can have happened here? Stay calm, Watson. Take note of every detail and be careful not to move anything. Very well, Holmes. Watson, just don't touch anything please well he's missing his finger and there is a dead dog oh boy Watson what have we gotten ourselves into what a horrible wound size nine Hobnail boots like those worn by laborers. Well, that accounts Size for those. Size nine. Hobnail. Size nine. I just want to make that my ringtone. Just have, just him home saying size nine and size nine and a half. Okay, so that's. Those are shoes. Size nine. This bandage is a day or two old. No more. Bite it marks. is a dog bite. I can see the tooth marks. You can see the canines. Ah. Only a dog could inflict so deep a wound, but it appears that the wound was gnawed at afterwards. Let us look at our deduction board, Watson. Okay, the man. our deduction board. Oh, okay. He missed bite wounds on the man's body. Good. Good job. Good talk, everybody. So it looks like he was probably dosed with his own stuff. If 
Was, did it say that he gnawed at it afterwards, after the dog bit it? What terrible wounds! The dogs must have been rabid. Rabid? That's an interesting pronunciation. Oh boy, look at this. Oh wow. This guy seems pretty well endowed. All right, Watson, make a note of that in the d deduction board. This part is in shreds. The skin tissue has decomposed, yet the death is recent. This part is in... What is it? What was... Did I miss something? This bandage is a... Please take note, Watson. The same finger that we found at the Bishop of Knightsbridge's house. Holmes! So there we go. Let's look at these dogs. Were they wild dogs or were they too dosed with the poison? Oof, oh boy. What a horrible wound. This part is in shreds. The skin tissue has decomposed, yet the death is recent. The skin was deeply torn. Something else to deduce. Okay. Okay. This part is in sh Yeah, yeah, death was recent. What a horrible wound. Oh, something else in the body. The skin was deeply... Is that it? Is that everything now? It was. The material on this tray is rather odd. A small burner. Small burnt balls. A pipe with a strange smell. There can be no doubt. Judging by the material on the tray and the pipe, the man smoked opium. Opium? I doubt if this man could have made his drug here. He would have needed a real laboratory. Something else to deduce. Maybe his stuff was laced. Who knows? Oh, there's another. Oh, that's probably the exit. The dog's bowl is empty. No, oh, maybe they were just like start. I don't know. What's this? Grapes. What are they doing there? <laughs> Grapes. This is yesterday's newspaper. Someone wrapped some meat up in this newspaper. The blood is still fresh. Someone brought food for the dogs, probably just before the fight broke out. And just after they had been fed, they attacked a man to eat him. Incredible. A torn piece of a letter. It seems to be a letter of dismissal. Wish I could give Watson a letter of dismissal. So many clues. A newspaper covering the war in South Africa. Kurtz must have been following the war with some interest. The Boer War is abominable, and it still rages. A military badge of the 58th Infantry Regiment of Her Majesty and a letter stipulating Kurtz's exclusion from the unit. He served in 1881. At that time, the regiment served in South Africa. Kurtz was in the Boer War. Any 
Anything else? Uh, looks like it's everything. Time to go to our deduction board. I still have the scissors. <laughs> it's time to deduce. The man is missing a finger. The dog ate this man's finger. Naturally. There are no in available instruments here for preparing opium. So therefore he couldn't. It's just, it's not possible. Okay, so there are numerous bite wounds on the dog's bodies. Numerous bite wounds on this man's bodies. I don't think... I mean, if he's bringing them food, I don't think... Or maybe... Uh, oh, used to torture him? Maybe that one. But I don't think he would have ill-treated them if he was bringing them food. My deduction chart is incomplete, Holmes. We are missing an important detail. Let's return to the clinic and ask if our friend might lend us his morgue for two hours. What are you going to do? I'm torn between a nap and a picnic. Oh, I've had enough, Holmes! The next step of our investigation, Watson, leads us inevitably to a post-mortem. As you're well aware, in the instance where a body's vital organs no longer function, every minute is vital. Be quick now and procure the room while I arrange the transport. Very well. I will see you later. Yes! Yes! In control of Dr. Watson! Alright, what do I need? I, I really hope I do a good job for Holmes. I hope he wasn't kidding about that picnic. That would be so, so great. Ah, Grant, you are still here. I need to ask a favor from you. What sort of favor, my dear friend? Might I use your morgue for a couple of hours? It concerns an affair of the greatest imp- Use the morgue? Whatever for? Letting you poke your nose in everywhere is one thing, but closing my eyes to I don't know what unsavory practices. No, it's nothing like that. No, it isn't possible, sorry. Grant, listen to me. I- Don't insist. Where do you think you are? Perhaps because you come from the rich area, you think you are entitled to do whatever you like. But here in Whitechapel, it's the real world, you understand? The real world, where we have to take risks. Do you even know what that means? And this shabby health centre where I've been stagnating for years, it's a public establishment under my authority, for whatever that's worth. I'm responsible for it. Responsible, do you understand? Of course I understand, Grant. Good. I understand, first and foremost, that you are a coward. What? A coward, I said, sitting on your backside behind a desk for years, complaining about your fate without even trying to change a single thing about it. I won't allow you. And you dare to talk to me about risks. I, who was wounded in Afghanistan while in Her Majesty's service, and who for a great many years has taken part in some of the most dangerous criminal investigations the country has ever known. But... As for being responsible, as you call it, it begins with doing your job properly, particularly when one is a doctor and caring for the poorest people within our society. I... The real life? Ha <laughs> ha! Don't make me laugh. I am a doctor too, Grant, don't forget. And I am ashamed of my profession when I see the state of this centre. It's not my... So, your disgusting morgue, you are going to allow me to use it, dear friend, because I urgently need it for a vitally important affair that is way over your head, and whether it pleases you or not. Understood? If you want to be like that about it, do whatever you like. I wash my hands of the entire thing. That doesn't surprise me. This is a dismal place. Have you ever carried out a post-mortem, Holmes? It requires a great deal of precision. Don't worry, I learn quickly. Hand me a bone saw. Watson, I have used scissors before. I think I'll manage just fine. Oh, barf. 
Watson, I'm proud of you, man. You did a good job. What do you think, Holmes? I think that let's just cut this guy open. Zoop. Go carefully, Holmes, even so. Whew. All right, we got cotton, rib spreader, tweezers, scalpel, pipette. So, um, let's see. Pipette. Stick it in the wound. Boop. All right. Scalpel. When am I cutting open? The I chest, must I clean the body first. I need to. Cl I need to clean it first. What does it matter? I must mark the places to cut. Okay. Uh, we cut with pipettes, right? No, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't just jam it in there. Ugh. All right, Watson. My there notches are ready. If you know what I mean. Wink! All right, rib spreader. Oof. Oh, boy. And then, I guess, tweezers? I mean, what am I, what am I really looking no, I for here? I can't do that. No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. Don't put it away. A tumor! Watson, we can still save this man! No, it is unnecessary. Unnecessary to, I guess, tweezers. A ball of paper, swallowed recently. Interesting. Very interesting. So it looks like that's probably it, it for this. And cut it open. And I can't else. do that. Doesn't really look like there's anything in there. This liquid found in the lungs should be able okay. to tell us something. Watson, you want a drink? Want a drink of some sweet old, some just nice liquid lung juice? Mm -mm. Just like mom used to make. Okay, so we found got a full pipette of lung juice. We have a map. 13 Burner Street. Anything else to deduce? Still need more information, I guess. So I have it down the dogs were poisoned and probably went after him. But we need more information. What should we do next, Holmes? I must analyze the contents of my pipette. My pipette? Okay, that's how you want to pronounce it. How do I... Am I returning to Baker Street, I guess? Is there... I don't suppose there's a way I can analyze it here. Oh no, there is. There. This guy has an analyzing corner too. This liquid found in the lungs should be able to tell us something. Okay, so now that I know how to do this from last time, it should be a piece of cake. So, spin it around. Gray, blue, 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 blue. Okay. Yeah, this isn't nearly as difficult as I initially thought. Oh boy. Uh, gray, gray, brown, brown, green, 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 green. Okay. Whew. Remember this, viewers. Gray, gray, brown, brown, green, 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 green. Green? Five greens. Whew. All right, viewers, if I forget, tell me. Just leave it in the comments. And then I'll just... I'll, I'll stop the video, and then... Yeah, that sounds like it'll work. Blue, blue, gray... Gray, blue, blue, green, 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 green. Gray, blue, blue. Green, green, green. Oh, only two things of each. This is child's play. It's a lot of aggressiveness, a lot of degeneration of skin tissue. And one more for degeneration. Fatality! Poison, and apparently very virulent. Uh, okay, so... Analysis of the poison that was administered to Kurtz. Heightened aggression, close to madness, just like last time. Heightened his muscular strength. Provoked extreme degeneration of skin tissue following deep wounds. Substance non-fatal. Interesting. So similar 
but slightly different because last time it was fatal and death by cardiac arrest. Hmm. Going back to the deduction board. It's time to deduce. Lungs. Traces of opium in Kurtz's lungs. Traces of some sweet, sweet lung juice. And so he drank opium naturally. And then, you know, he, he did that thing where you kind of drink it wrong and some water gets down the wrong pipe and you cough a little bit and that's what happened. Or it was a combination. Uh oh, it's red. Oh boy. And he went mad because he was an opium addict. All right, kids, don't do drugs. Or he was murdered by the bishop, really? Why would anybody... He was poisoned by the same poison as the bishop. And so, man, Watson's getting really fancy with his deduction boards. He's got white coloring, like white crayons to color it in. He's got red now. Fancy. And was given a pipe already had opium in it. And so somebody prepared it for him. Or brought it. Well, I mean, what's the difference between brought and prepared? I don't really know. It's either one of the... So whatever one, I guess, if, it, if it's wrong. He was poisoned by his dogs? <laughs> oh, boy. So it goes down there. I guess is one of them... I guess I'm wrong, and... some instance poisoned oh so it, they brought him that his was pipe. a most instructive post-mortem this man was murdered by his accomplices because of his missing finger i see he was overly conspicuous walking around with a bandaged hand as the police would have been looking for a man with a missing finger but how did they manage to disguise the murder by making it look like a dog attack the post-mortem revealed the presence of poison in his system. Everything points to it being a less potent form of the poison we found in the bishop's rooms. This man died as much from the poison as from fighting against those animals. I believe this new version of the substance provokes such a rage that the victim attacks anything in his path, and in this instance it was dogs. We're dealing with sorcerer's apprentices, whose creations are ever-evolving. They are attempting to obtain a particular effect, and they try out their formulae on human guinea pigs. You're saying that his accomplices forced him to drink it? No, he took it himself, voluntarily. The poison wasn't to be found in his blood, but in his lungs. I also discovered numerous traces of opium. I'm beginning to see. They mixed this horrible poison with his opium, knowing that he would soon smoke it to ease the pain caused by his wound. Exactly. And such a profound knowledge of both chemistry and toxicology is uncommon. Very well. We know the reason and the manner, but we're really not any further ahead. How will we find the two other men who murdered the bishop? By going to 13 Burner Street. It is in this area. But where did you get that address, Holmes? from his stomach. I see. He wanted to get rid of the address. No, he wanted revenge. I don't follow you. When the man with the missing finger began to feel the effects of the poison, he knew that he was going to die, and he knew that there would be a post-mortem. Shall we go? Oh, he gave a little smile. Actually, he was just really hungry. Okay. So, 13 Burner Street, I think he said? Burner Street, Burner Street. And here we are. Ma'am, did you murder the bishop? Oh, she's not looking up. She's not really looking me in the eye. This doesn't look good. Doesn't look good for her. Number five. 
number seven, eleven. We're getting there. Uh, twelve. Oh, hello. Aha. Back here. <laughs> oh boy. There's our opium den, Watson. Let's go. 